Fifty Shades of Black is directed by Michael Tids, and it stars Marlon Wayans and Kaylee Hawk, and is atrocious. My God, this movie is... It's just so awful. I could not believe it. I, I was watching this movie, and before watching it, I thought, you know what? This movie is probably going to be bad, but I like spoof movies. Let's give it a shot. Spoof movies have gone from Mel Brooks classic Spaceballs. You got Young Frankenstein, such great films. And then you get Leslie Nielsen just killing it and everything that he used to do. And then you get to the scary movie films, which were okay. They, you know, so they started out pretty good, they were funny, and then they, they steadily declined. And then you got, like, The Haunted House, which, this is the director of Haunted House and Haunted House 2, in case you were wondering, also starring Marlon Wayans. And those were not very good at all, but they had, you know, some funny laughs, they were trying a little bit. This film, Fifty Shades of Black, is awful. It is 100% garbage. It is so bad. My God, they didn't even try. What? What was the purpose of this film? I'll tell you the purpose. It's them trying to capitalize on the success of Fifty Shades of Grey. Which, Fifty Shades of Grey was not a good movie. It's not a good book, from what I hear. I didn't read it. But I hear it's not very good. Um, that movie sucked. So they said, you know what? That's popular, so let's make fun of it. And, like, do a spoof on it and make it, make it funny and, like, really good. And people are going to love it. And it's going to make so much money. But no, no, because you took the exact story, the exact same story. Nothing has changed in this film. They use almost the exact same lines as in Fifty Shades of Grey. They didn't even try to make it funny. They took the exact same movie and made it again and threw in some awful jokes that didn't work, that were just embarrassing, and then that's it. And then they were like, yeah, cut, let's do this thing and it, none of it worked it was so bad i could i, I was watching it and I, I couldn't believe how bad it was I, like it started off and i i chuckled for a second and then i was like no oh no wait oh 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 my god oh oh and i was like this oh my god oh it was so awful the whole movie i, I don't even know how else to describe it than just awful that's the only expressing word that i possibly know how to use for a film like this, it's just awful. I, I don't even know any other words in my head. I, I don't know if there's a, a, enough of a bad word to in English language to describe how bad this film was. It's just atrociously unfunny. It's a comedy, and it's a spoof movie. It's not. It does not have a hard job. All that it has to do is make some jokes of the, the stupid movie, maybe throw in some other ones, and you know what, hey, we'll give it a pass because it's a comedy. We'll get, it's a spoof comedy. It, it, just, it doesn't even have to be like original comedy. It just has to spoof something and be somewhat funny. Oh my god, it's not even that. It is awful. This is worse than Fifty Shades of Grey was. Fifty Shades of Grey was a bad movie. Bad acting, all that stuff. This movie has the bad acting, plus the bad story, plus unfunny jokes, unoriginal jokes unmotivated jokes. It looks like they weren't even trying. Oh my god. And then some truly just... Like I wanted to have a heart... I'm gonna, like, I'm, I'm gonna have a heart attack just thinking about it right now. The, the supporting actor, the actress in this film, the, the, the roommate of the, the main girl, trying, just desperately trying to be Melissa McCarthy and Rebel Wilson and just trying to be funny like them and like wild and crazy and ooh, I'm them. Oh my God, she was the worst person I've ever seen ever in life in any movie. She was so, so bad. She was it's so annoying. I hated her. I, maybe she's a wonderful lady, you know? Maybe she's nice, a nice person, but my God, I do not even want to see her act in anything because I cannot get this out of my head. The, the, the image she left has just scarred me forever. It is atrocious. Oh, whoo, whoo, I hated this movie. Th there was no, no funny thing about it. Not one funny line. Not, no, nothing. No thing. Th th my had an adequate amount of people in my theater and no laughter whatsoever. There's two old ladies. I don't know why there were these two old ladies in the, in the, in the theater. I, th th that's a discussion for no, no, another time, I guess. But there were these two old ladies and they were just going, <gasps> oh, the whole film. And I was going, Ugh! just because of how unfunny and awful it was. And I felt weird for them. It was very, very awkward. Just all, all, just all over. N now, here's what I'll say. Is that as much as this film did not try, there was one fun funny moment. 
and it was there they threw in this this whiplash reference which if you've seen whiplash which most of you haven't unfortunately you should all go see whiplash just a side tangent everyone should just see whiplash that movie's amazing just go see that instead of this if you plan on seeing this go see whiplash they threw in one reference that was funny it's just because i love whiplash and that, you know that movie's so fantastic they threw in one for one reference it's like they that part was funny so i i can't completely hate this movie because no you know what i can i can completely hate it it's just that that was one funny part <laughs> anyway I, I can't talk about this movie anymore it was truly 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 awful nothing funny I hated it. it I, I'm going to give it a half a star out of five. A half out of five. Only because of the whiplash joke, because that made me laugh. But nothing else was funny. The whole movie was maddening. I feel dumber after watching this film. I can't wait to see something, anything after this. It is so bad. Please don't see it. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this and you want to see more reviews from a guy like me, you can subscribe. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks.